and I almost completely forgot to record this introduction, so yeah, that's why I'm wearing my joggers and no towel. Anyway, I've been having a lot of questions over the last, well not a lot, but a few questions over the last few months about whether I'm going to get some blood work done or check my testosterone levels, and that is something I'm definitely planning on doing. I just don't want to do it, I didn't want to do it whilst bulking, A, because I didn't have the money, B, because I don't think it's going to be as accurate. Likewise with, whilst I'm cutting now, because a lot of your hormones and mineral densities, they fluctuate a lot depending on whether you're in a calorie surplus or deficit. So I think the best time for me to get a blood test done is during the maintenance period between the end of this cut and the next bulk. So in two months time, basically, is when I'm planning on getting some blood work done. I'm not just going to get testosterone, I want to get everything checked just to kind of see where I'm at, see if I've got any glaring deficiencies, see if there's anything that I can improve upon, see if my testosterone level needs bumping up, maybe explore some supplementation there. There's obviously ashwagandha as a good option. There's Fidosia agrestis, I think it's called, or Tonka Ali. There's, so there's a lot of different herbal compounds that have been shown to increase testosterone. So if that is necessary, I might look into getting on those. I've tried those before. Can't say I noticed a massive difference, but I definitely did notice a small increase in well, my desire to put effort into things, which is ultimately what testosterone is responsible for. So I definitely did see an increase. I just have no way of measuring how significant that increase was. It's kind of like with the zinc and magnesium that I'm taking at the moment. I'm not noticing a 10% increase in my sleep, but I'm definitely noticing like a one or 2% increase in the quality of my sleep and a decrease in the time that it takes me to get to sleep. So it's definitely doing something. It's just about how big that impact is and how noticeable that impact is and whether it's just that thing or whether there's other things involved, which is why I like to only try adding one or two new supplements at a time so I can kind of narrow down, okay, this gives me this effect and that's why I should keep taking it or this does nothing and it's a waste of money. So that's my kind of approach with supplementation. What else was I going to say? Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. I mean, obviously I weighed in at 90.9 kg first thing this morning, which is a pretty significant drop off from yesterday. I mean, that's a 1.2 kilo decrease. Obviously that's not muscle mass, that's not fat. You don't lose either of those things that aggressively in one day. That is simply just the water weight and glycogen from my muscles leaving my body because I'm no longer in a calorie surplus. So. Yeah, I'm not expecting the weight to continue to be, to, to keep going down this aggressively over the long term. Definitely not 1.2 kilos per day, but we'll have to wait and find out. Now today we're going to be training chest, which is going to be a deload session, so not going to be much intensity at all here. Just going to be going through the motions, turning up, getting my cardio done of course, and yeah, so it won't be a long workout either. But still looking forward to it nonetheless because it's still an opportunity to get a small chest pump. Won't be a big chest bump, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see how significant it is. Anyway, without further ado, let's go and get some breakfast. So first up, I've got some scrambled eggs with an avocado and a potato. So I kicked off my chest deload session with some incline dumbbell press, only using the 17 and a half kilo dumbbells for 10 reps. I did two sets in total here, along with some warm up sets, of course. And obviously this is significantly less than I'd usually do. I'd usually be hitting this number of reps with about 30 kg dumbbells. So pretty much about 50 to 60% of my usual load, which was the ultimate goal for this deload session. Likewise with the machine chest press, where I was only using 25 kilos for 10 reps for another two sets. No need to warm up on this one since my chest was already warm from the incline dumbbell press. And as you can probably tell, these sets were not challenging at all. I mean, obviously, there's still weight being moved around, so there's a bit of resistance, but it's not challenging at all. It's not anywhere near to failure. Then I finished up with two sets of 10 reps on the pec deck using just 20 kg, where I would usually use about 40 kg for the same number of reps. And yeah, once again, as you can see, just focus on trying to control the weight as much as possible and just get through the sets quickly. I mean, the only thing that added any kind of challenge was the short rest periods between these sets. Anyway, I finished up with 30 minutes of cardio on the seated bike as per usual. 
Then for my post-workout meal, I've got some Greek yogurt with protein powder, fruit and nuts. Then I've got some beef steaks with veggies and a sweet potato. Then to finish up my eating for the day, I've got some chicken breast with veggies. And that concludes a pretty successful second day of this cut. Put my calories and macros on screen for you. About 2,650 calories consumed. So obviously a little bit over my 2,500 target. However, I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem eating up to about 2,800 calories. I think that still leaves me in a significant enough deficit to lose weight at the rate that I want to. Just 2,500 is what I aim for because, hey, if I overshoot it, I'm still under that 2,800 mark and that's ultimately going to keep me in the golden spot of losing about 0.75 kilos a week on average. That's what I'm aiming for. Obviously, this first week, as you could probably tell by, I mean, just the weight drop this morning of 1.2 kg from yesterday, I'm going to lose a lot more weight this week than I will in any other week of the cup and that's just the nature of the beast that we're tackling here. Obviously, not a particularly intense chest session today. No pump to speak of as, yeah, I wasn't really moving enough weight to get one. But it's just part of the process. And I'm probably going to run this deload through for two cycles of my training. So 10 days in total. So we're two days into that at the moment. So another eight days of deloading to go. And then we'll be back at it with some intense training once again, which, of course, I'm very much looking forward to. However, I know if I want to be able to give everything to that training, I need to take some kind of active rest period now you probably know i'm not a big fan of taking rest days <clears throat> and yeah i mean there's not much more to say than that I, I just like being in the gym even if the sets i'm doing aren't intense i'd rather be in the gym doing something than sat at home doing nothing and ultimately i also think active recovery and rest is probably better for you in all domains whether it's health maintaining muscle mass which is ultimately the goal here on this cut is to maintain muscle mass so I think if I started cutting and then just took a rest week or something like that, I think that'd be a bit counterproductive. I think if I was to take a rest week, I would have to be eating at maintenance calories. Otherwise, I would definitely lose muscle. Whereas by doing a deload whilst being in a calorie deficit, I'm likely to retain most of the muscle that I built throughout the bulk, which I worked very hard to build. So obviously, don't want to go ahead and lose all that straight away by through atrophy, although Atrophy is quite hard. Like it's quite hard to lose muscle mass. You have to be in a significant calorie deficit for quite some time to actually lose muscle mass. So that won't be the case here since we're only cutting for two months. So yeah, unlikely that we'll lose much muscle mass at all. And hopefully shred off all this fat to reveal the gains that have been made. Anyway, tomorrow is going to be a back day, another deload session, of course. So hopefully I'll see you there for it. Cheers.